Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today I am bringing you a blueprint revealing video. Now I have been told by some of my friends, Ready specifically, that basically the servers have been overloaded by people revealing their blueprints right now, so it might be a little bit difficult. There might be some errors, but today in this video, I've got written down a 200 players choice blueprint revealing video, but I might reveal from all series. I might just head into the blueprint section, have a look at what's good, and open some stuff today. Now, videos like this would not be possible because as you can see, I've got 4,200 players choice blueprints here. I did accidentally open one in my item shop video a couple of hours ago. Videos like this wouldn't be possible without the help of the sponsors of the channel, Logger.com, because I wouldn't have been able to afford to get all of these blueprints in preparation for this update without their support on the channel and your support of them. So I'm going to play the sponsored intro. I made a little new voiceover for it so you can go and uh, check that out. And today in this video, we're going to be looking at blueprints, revealing things. Someone sent me a picture on Instagram saying they got a titanium white toon. So we might see new painted black market items, which is going to be exciting. We'll be able to see what everything costs to make, whether that's a black market a painted exotic, a painted certified exotic, assuming we get these things, and it will give us a better look forward as to how Rocket League is going to evolve, how trading is going to be affected, and how the prices are going to be affected. And how the price is going to be affected. So I'm going to play the sponsored intro. Smash a like if you're excited because we're double uploading today and tomorrow because we will do Rocket Pass 5 content as well. And uh, let's just get straight into this. All of the new Rocket League update content has been brought to you by Lolga.com. If you don't know who they are, you can basically buy gift cards from their shop for cheaper than they are actually worth. If you use the discount code Pixel for 6% off your purchase, if you want to buy V-Bucks in Fortnite or credits in Rocket League, all of that stuff, you can head over there to Lolga and be sure to use the discount code to save yourself some money. You guys have been supporting them a ton lately and it really does mean a lot to me and makes videos like this possible. So now let's get into the video. We're going to start with the player's choice. Okay, so you do just you do just click it. One little button. I like that. I like that. We got the gainers. This is so sick. Wait, this could be rapid. This could be apps. Oh, wait. Go back. <laughs> I think we got a black chakram. We're still loading with the blueprint. Yeah, I got told this happens a lot. I might have to take it a little bit slower instead of absolutely blasting through it because I'd rather be consistently revealing blueprints at a, a, a decent rate rather than blasting through a few and then it overloading the game. So, yeah, there's that. We got... Oh! Okay, black striker chakram. So, we'll have to have a look and see. It does... Well, when we get, a uh, say, a very rare item that's painted, like, we'll see if colors change the price. But we know if we've got a very rare wheel here is 500. Black Striker, which is way better, is only 200 credits more. So does that mean it adds 100 credits for paint and 100 credits for cert and doesn't discriminate? Like, Juggler is the same as Striker. White is the same as Burnt Sienna. It looks like that's what it could be. And that isn't good. That really isn't good. What is, was it like one key was 100 credits, 130, like that is worth more than 700 credits. This is going to be interesting. So we're going to open a load more so we can compare the items, how much the paint affects a blueprint, how much, you know, the cert affects it. So look, okay, so 600 for the import, interesting, 500 for a very rare, and then the rare, the regular rare is 200. Okay, that's 200 for painted, so plus 100. Regular rare is 100. So it goes to 100, then 500 for a very rare? And 600, why is the very rare so expensive? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Dragon Lord, my guy. So that aviator, 200. So, oh, it's lime as well though. So lime, so maybe for the rare, it's 50. Credits for a cert, 50 for a paint. No, it's it's not. It's 100 for a paint and the certification makes no difference. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. We'll figure this out together. So we're revealing more blueprints. This is going to take a long time. This is going to take a very, very long time. It might even be a, a live stream situation tomorrow or something because I can't record videos like this. This is going to take forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I can't wait to see what our first black market's going to be. I'm going to be sat here for a long, long time. Pearlescent mats. So, this one is a 200 rare blueprint. No paint, no certification. So, a paint finish is better than a, a decal, I guess. Twice as good, apparently. So, that's, that's interesting. 
Uh, I suppose we could keep opening these bad boys. I, I guess. I don't know. We got another one. I don't want to go too fast, otherwise it might not work. But so far, we... Yeah, we've hit a bit of pace, a bit of momentum. Let's keep it going. I do have one secret Santa blueprint. Let's let's open this up and see what we get. Rad reindeer. Not really the one. We're just opening up all kinds of random blueprints now. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Uh, let's go with velocity. Give me that jeweling dragons. Yeah, we'll, we'll open it. Oh, what is that, actually? It's a very rare paint finish. What does that cost to make? 400 versus a regular very rare. A wheel at 500. Paint finish at 400. And I'm guessing a very rare decal, 300? It's all a bit weird. I don't know. I, I hope Rocket League release a price list. Because maybe they do have one. If I like press L3 or something, I could have a little look and see. Because at the moment, we're just sort of picking different things apart and putting it together. This is, this is actually taking longer than a regular crate opening because of all the loading. Which is a little bit strange. I get it. So, it's... 600 for an import boost. We're gonna basically we're gonna have to get a lot more items to decide and to figure out at least uh, What we're working with here, but it's gonna take a lot longer to open that so it might it might turn into a, a blueprint best items only That might be what has to happen here because it's taking so long to load I'm gonna be sat here for a good half an hour to an hour. Maybe streaming was the way to go for this I'm not entirely sure but this is taking so long so I I guess I'll see you when something sick happens, whether it's just an item that pops up or an import, an exotic. I'm excited to see the exotics and just, I I got a, a blueprint back for that apparently. I don't know what happened there. Uh, whatever happens, black market, I want to see the price of that. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Freaked out a little bit there. So painted exotic, how much would that set you back? 1,600. Okay, I mean, so if a key is about 100 credits, 16 keys. So yeah, I do think they've what they've done is they're going to meet it in the middle. So lower value ex painted exotics like this one are going to go up. And then white zombies, I'm guessing, are going to come down. If Say we get a white zombie in this video. It won't happen. But say we do, I reckon it will cost 1,600 again. And that's going to ruin everything. It's going to ruin everything. And I'm kind of... Okay, painted Yamane. Right, let's compare. Saffron, 700. So 200 for paint. I still don't have enough items to conclusively... Oh, regular Zomba. So how much is that? Zomba blueprint, 1400. I think they've fisted prices here. I don't think white Zombas... I, I, I can't wait to see if the, if the colors differentiate. I want to get a burnt sienna painted item and a white painted item of the same variety rarity variety the same item basically just with white and burnt sienna put the colors next to each other and see if they that changes the amount the item increases in value so that's a okay so a twinser an import body is 800 versus 600 for the comets that makes sense that i get they do they do differentiate between boosts and cars and wheels are more valuable than decals and that's pretty much all we have right now. We're starting to flow. I did say I'd cut to a highlight, but I started speaking and then this started working. I'm excited to do this. I can't wait till we get our first black market. We've already had a painted exotic, which is actually pretty good luck. I assume. Is there a drop rate uh, archive? Wait. So if I just get rid of this. L3 archive. No. Nope. Those buttons aren't working. Okay, we'll just keep going. Um, I'm so excited. This is what I'm talking about. This is how this video is supposed to go. Going to be nice and easy to reveal the blueprints. I say that and this happens. So again, now I've explained what we're doing. We're trying to, we're trying to ascertain the prices of things, whether or not different colors affect it, certifications, that sort of thing. So I'll see you when something good happens because this blueprint is going to fail. Thank you. Oh, Comet Blueprint and the Blueprint back as well. Okay, we got over... Oh, a Draco! Come on! Okay, we're, we're, we're getting into a bit of a rhythm now. It seems to just have an error occasionally. Basically, it has an error every time I mention the fact that an error could happen. <laughs> and then we have a little run. So, we'll keep going. I'm here for it. Smash the like if you're excited, if you're enjoying. Let me know down in the comments what you got in your blueprints if you've opened a bunch of them already. Like I said, someone tagged me on Instagram saying they got a titanium white toon, which previously before this update didn't exist. If it's not fake, it's new. So I'm excited to see what these thousands of blueprints have to offer. I'm so gassed. And hopefully going forward in the future, making 
these videos, it will not take this long to open them all. So like say tomorrow when most people have sort of revealed their blueprints because not many people have this many, it will then be a lot easier to reveal them and be a lot quicker. That's, that's the goal. If it takes this long forever, it's going to be blueprint best items only for the whole month of December, pretty much, because it's going to take a long time. I want to get my player's choice blueprints down to 4,000 blueprints. I've only done 50 and it's been 10 minutes. I want to do 200 in a video. I want to just do enough to have enough items to look at it and be like, right, what's the difference? So Burnt Sienna, okay, black, 700. Burnt Sienna, 700. Wait, so certification does not change the value of an item and the color makes zero difference. I just need to... I need it on an item where white makes a vast difference. So ideally an exotic. Because then the exotics, they're the most valuable ones are white. Everything else is kind of meh. So I, I just want to see conclusive evidence. Because black and burnt sienna, in terms of chakrams, that is the best and the worst color. But I still don't know if Rocket League sees it that way. But nevertheless, it doesn't look like white zombies are going to be worth any more. Or white striker zombies could be worth the exact same as burnt sienna regular zombies after this update. And we are going to see the market take a tumble. It's going to be weird. It's going to be so weird. Rocket League have finally given us prices. They've undone market progress for the last three years by the looks of things. If those shakrams are anything to go by. Yeah, see, blasting through blueprints. Ugh, every time, every time I talk about blasting through blueprints. But going at that speed in future will be very handy and very exciting. I'm, I'm hoping it's just server overload tonight and not like this all the time. Ooh, painted shakrams. Same colors. Sa the colors don't discriminate. They don't. Can we please get a black market, by the way? what? Where are the painted black markets at? Where was it? Totally awesome. Shattered Hextide Magma Voxel. Now, there was one that could have elevation. Wet paint singularity. Okay, this has... I'm going to open these 25 blueprints because you can get every black market painted in this crate. So, we're going to open all these blueprints. There's so much to do, man. Oh, Gurnots. Just going to check that Gurnots and Dracos, blah, blah, blah. They don't discriminate there. 1,400, 1,400. Yep. I, I think they are... They have pretty much averaged out prices. From what I can see already... A purple Nimbus? Okay, what what does that set you back? Purple Nimbus, where are we at? A thousand, so it's plus 200 for the paint there on an import body. So I still, it's not an exact science. I'm still not entirely sure. We've had two exotics, 14 more to go. These are the painted black market crates. Another purple Nimbus, is that? Not too bad. And obviously the best part about these, hopefully I can archive all the garbage like, all the rares, all the very rare blueprints, all of that can go in the bin, pretty much. Rocket League's new archiving system, once that works. And then give away, I'll only have good blueprints left. You can't do trade-up, so I, there's no need for me anymore, because I physically can't, to keep painted imports to trade up and stuff. I can actually give painted imports away to those of you that kind of like it. You know, like, I can give you the blueprints and go from there. I'll open all these elevation blueprints and get the player's choice down to 4,000 and then I'll save the rest for a future video hoping that the servers will, you know, get a bit better as the days go by. Where's the black market at then, game? Come on. Come on, man. 130, 130 more blueprints to go. Oh, that's a regular Infinium. We've got to get a black market. If we don't get it in these next 130, I'll probably keep opening until we get a black market. Yeah. I probably will end up doing that. <laughs> I just got a painted certified Twinser, so I'm going to check and compare with the other Twinsers and see if that changes anything. A thousand. I, I think it is still a thousand. So yeah, certification doesn't change. Striker Sir, no Sir, exactly the same. So it could be a Striker White Zomba is the same to build as a Burnt Sienna Zomba. Wow. Now we're just revealing blueprints. Oh, <laughs> oh. Now we're just revealing blueprints until we get a black market. But that does mean if we do get a white striker zomba blueprint, hear me out. I could just make it with credits and it would be really, really cheap. It's actually going to... White zombas are going to go down so much. You're going to get potentially painted dominuses and all that in the item shop. If you can get painted octanes in the item shop as well, they're going to shoot down. I just... I don't know anymore. So far, for all we know, the white octanes are going to keep their value. The black dices are going to keep their value because they're not in crate series. They're in drop series, so we should still be able to do trade-ups there, which means they shouldn't be sold. But rip the price of crate items. It's a good thing I sold them all to do that big live stream because 
I'm imagining they're going to go down in price quite a bit. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I'm getting all flushed. Woo, I'm excited. <coughs> My voice is going. Update day is, is killing me. Oh, this is rapid. This is rapid. I'm in the zone right now. Give me that black market. That's all we're looking for. Because if we get to 4,000 players choice crate, blueprints left, and we haven't got a black market, you know I'm going to have to keep going. I'm getting all these people saying they've got black market blueprints. Where are mine at? Come on, Psyonix. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, my throat. Come on, please. Give us that black market. 60 more to go. I'm going to have to do a lot of videos on this just because of how long it actually takes. Grey Sniper. So I should be able to compare. 800... Okay, so yeah, certification does nothing. Guaranteed. And I don't think colours matter either. So, this is very, very, very strange. Oh, I found the groove. I found the speed. Just wait a second before you do the next blueprint and it doesn't mess up. I've got the groove now. This is a quicker way to open crates. Yeah, it's flowing. It's flowing. We're getting a black market soon. I can feel it. We have to. Oh, Zomba. We're almost at 4,000. I might then delve into some other blueprints and see what black markets we can look for for today's video. Because I do want to get a black market in the first blueprint opening. Oh! Oh! What? Titanium white infiniums. Preview? Hello. Oh, 2,000. 2,000. For a white certified exotic. Let me just see. Are there the other painted exotic? 1600. So white does make a difference. But is it the certification that's making the difference? I don't know. But they have made white better. More expensive, I think. I, I, I don't know. That's a tough one. We're, the jury's still out on that. Let's see what we can, uh, what we can get here. So Intrudium, Wet Paint, Solar Flare, Hextide. Okay. Nitro series, bit of Draco action. Where oh, totally awesome does look look pretty juicy. Velocity, give me that jewel in dragons. Oh yeah, if, if you can get a painted tune, maybe you can get like a painted party time or something. Let's let's go for that jewel in dragons, baby. Let's try and go for that velocity jeweling dragons luck today. That's gonna be the black market we're trying to get. But yeah, we got a white exotic from the player's choice in the first 200. Pretty darn good. It is, unfortunately. An Infinium, as it so often is. <laughs> but hopefully we can uh, we can get better luck later on. I'll see you basically when we get something sick again. <laughs> oh, Equalizer Saffron. Let's have a little look at the price of these. So, 1600 for the Dracos. How much for the Saffron? Okay, 1600 again. So, it's like 1600 is the default. This is a kind of garbage painted exotic. But 2000 for a white one. They have changed it a bit. I, I need to see more. I need to see more. Am I going to live to regret saying that I want to keep going until I get a black market? I don't get how I haven't got one yet. <laughs> we got another painted exotic just there. Why can't I get a black market? Come on. Exotic gold explosion. Not too bad. Not too bad. I wonder if what we're getting in the blueprints is exactly what was in our crates before or if they're just being determined now as we click reveal. Okay, ferocity. A few good uh, black markets there. Could get a painted hex tide. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Come on, where's the VM? Where is it? Oh, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get one. We got white blenders. Okay, blenders. White. Eight hundred. Where are the other painted very rare wheels? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. So were the painted Yamanis also seven hundred? Because I need to check. 700. So 600. So the, some of the colors are better than others. Like white is good. Red is good, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know the actual like system. Vindicator. Why am I not opening Vindicator blueprints? This is going to be the one. This is the black market. I don't know how much of that you saw without face cam. But uh, it's been so long it stopped recording twice on me. So we just got to keep hoping for that BM. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a blueprint, a shattered black market gold explosion. Let's preview this. How much is it going to cost? 2000 So a non-painted black market, I guess, is going to cost you the same as a painted exotic. You know what? I'm going to build it. My first ever built item 
from a blueprint is going to be a black market. There we go. That's kind of satisfying, not going to lie. Obviously, at some point, uh, the new rocket pass is going to drop maybe tomorrow, I guess, because it hasn't dropped now for some reason. I will be doing videos on that. I will be doing more blueprint reveal videos. Hopefully, it'll become easier to do, but it looks like it's going to be more of a best items only format, which I'm absolutely buzzing for, to be honest. But that is going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I see you in the comments with your notification squad comments. Turn on the bell so you don't miss a single one. Ivan Pixel, you have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.